celebration weekend of my husband's 25th birthday. That is wild. To me, I turned 23 in February and I feel like 25 is so far away. But the person most important in my life is turning 25 on Sunday. Personally, when it comes to like birthdays, New Year, I get kind of reflective and it's winter and winter is just like a reflective time period. And I'm just like sitting here like, oh my gosh, this year was crazy. We got married, we bought our house, we remodeled our house we moved from Texas to Missouri just so many big changes and just sitting right here in this super cozy area of my house I'm like so grateful it's just ah, I'm so excited anyway I'm excited to celebrate his birthday today is Friday I just went and got us coffee and my insane husband wanted iced coffee when it's like 10 degrees outside whatever he can do what he wants I got hot coffee <laughs> if you guys have a seven brew near you this place is so good I highly recommend recommend the cinnamon roll. I get the sugar-free cinnamon roll. Hot or iced, it just hits. Sorry, my washer was on like the end of its cycle, so it was just like screaming in there. But this vlog is picking right up literally directly after the last video ended, so if you haven't seen that one, go watch it. The plan for this weekend is, since his birthday is Sunday, we're gonna celebrate tonight. The only night we really can do whatever and stay up late is Friday night because we have church early on Sunday, so we don't want to stay up Saturday. Then we work on Monday, so we don't want to stay up Sunday. Anyway, all of our friends are gonna go out to eat at a restaurant tonight downtown And then we're gonna come back here and just like play some games have some drinks and then Saturday I assume we're gonna have a pretty chill day. He'll probably want to play some video games with friends um, We're gonna make one of our favorite meals on Saturday Probably go out to eat Saturday evening as well And then Sunday we'll go to church and we'll celebrate with my family because we always have family dinner on Sundays Who knows what we'll do on Sunday? We'll probably get brunch we really like eating out, okay? And we only eat out on the weekends, so we take full advantage of the weekend. Anyway, it's actually lunch right now. I am still working today, so I need to go actually make us food now that I got us coffee and then get a little bit more work done before I prep for tonight. For lunch, I think I'm just gonna do a nice and easy Instapot meal. If there's one thing you need to know about me and cooking, it's that I'm an Instapot girly. I'm just gonna do like a quick and easy pull apart chicken thing. I'm actually gonna season the chicken first. So as long as I can remember, my birthday was like my day. I owned the day, okay? I, growing up, would always get out of school on my birthday if it was on a weekday. My birthday's in February. I would get to choose whatever restaurant my family was gonna eat at. And I know this is extra cringe, but I'm definitely like a birthday week kind of person, or at least birthday weekend, just like the days leading up to your birthday. It's all about you. I don't know, I feel like we just need to celebrate that you exist. I'm a birthday girly, okay? The thing about my husband is he's the opposite. He does not care about birthdays. Every time someone asks him what his birthday is, I think it's like a joke, but he's like, um, I'm not too sure, I don't remember my birthday. But like, he doesn't remember anyone's birthdays. He has them all on his calendar, so yeah, he knows mine. Trust me, he knows mine, I made sure. Sure. Which is fine. Everyone is welcome to think of birthdays however they want. So when it comes to his birthday, I'm all excited. I do all this like planning. I mean, nothing crazy. Like we're just going out to eat, right? But I'm like, it's your birthday. What do you want to do? And he's like, uh, it's just another day. Like I'm just turning 25. It's not that big of a deal. And for me, when it's my birthday, I'm like, we're doing this, this, and this. And I also like have always wanted a surprise birthday party, but then I think about it and that's actually the opposite of what I want because I want to plan everything so it's all exactly how I like it and I don't want to sit around and be like I wonder if anyone's gonna celebrate my birth there's no way that you could plan a surprise birthday party for me because I've been planning my birthday a month ahead of time like there's no there's no room for a surprise party is what I'm saying I've chilled out about it a lot more the older I get but I still love a good birthday my husband he's like why would like I don't own the day there's other people who have been born on my birthday it doesn't really matter I don't think about myself he's very like I just don't think about myself that often like why would I think about myself why would a day be all about me that doesn't make sense and I'm like why would a day not be all about me are you kidding anyway I don't think there was like a conclusion to this conversation I'm just wondering where y'all stand on your birthdays I've never made this meal in the Instapot so how did it turn out it looks fine yeah I don't know I mean it might taste fine. It's supposed to be like pull apart chicken. Last time I made it, it pulled apart. This time it's like not pulling apart. <laughs> okay, honestly, it was not good. No. All right, y'all, I was working and Logan is FaceTiming me. Hello? What's going on? Oh, just literally vlogging. Oh, hello vlog. <laughs> What's up? 
I was just calling you to see about plans for tonight. Yeah, seven o'clock. Going to downstream then. Is that what you want to do? Anyways, I was gonna try to get in some pages before we go out because once we go out, like I'm not gonna be reading tonight. But I kind of ran out of time. I didn't read it all today, but that's okay. That's fine. We're good with that. Anyway, basically what I was saying is the whole house is ready for the party. We have like 13 people going to dinner to celebrate Abram's birthday tonight. Uh, and I'm gonna go get ready for it now. Log's gonna pick us up here in about 20 minutes. Made you ride in the back on your birthday. I'm gonna have an epileptic. Yeah, what is going on here? An epileptic splashes going on in that light. We are home, time for the vibes of the happy birthday song with the aggressive lighter. Wait, hey, we just walked away. All right, Log, you're 25. I am for now. <laughs> no one else could make it to come over to play games, so it's just us singing happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And Griffin. And Griffin. Griffin's birthday actually is soon. You gotta make a wish. Oh. Yay! Wishing for Smite 2? <laughs> actually, it's coming out, so yes. Oh, now you stop. Oh, you want me to keep playing with it? Log walked in, and he went over here, and he just started spinning this for no reason. And then he walked over here, and start pressing all the buttons. Gotta he try said, out all the toys. He said he wasn't cool, just wanted to push the buttons. When your brother has ADHD. Okay. It is time. Extra thing. Well, vlog just left and we just got done kind of hanging out for a little bit and Abram's gonna get on some video games, play with his friends, and I finally actually get to read my book. So although plans may have not gone exactly as we expected, I get to read and he gets to play games. That's a perfect combo. Gamer husband, book wife. I love it. I used to be more of a gamer wife, but I haven't played games in a long time. Logan was trying to get me to get on Fortnite with him tonight, but anyway, Abram said he had a really good time at the restaurant and then had fun hanging out with Log, so I'll call tonight a success and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day. I stayed up till 3 a.m. and you would think I stayed up reading, but no. I literally only read like a chapter last night. I was on TikTok and then watching stuff on the TV. I was just in like chill mode, not wanting to read. But that sucks because I really wanted to finish my book this weekend. But today is the day before my husband's birthday. Um, but we're busy tomorrow, so he's just going to play video games all day today. And I was like, that's perfect because I'm going to read all day today. Well, I'm going to read and also work on decorating this wall behind me. So I decorated this wall when we first moved in. And it just is like stuff I've had at my last few apartments. So it's giving apartment vibes for me. And it's just not hitting. Plus, like, none of that is like me anymore. So we went to Hobby Lobby and got a bunch of cute like dark academia and then we got this mirror at Hobby Lobby and all of this was 50% off and then I want to hang it all up here but I'm trying to decide if I should just take down the shelf completely and like slowly build out this gallery wall or if I should paint the shelf black and then put all this stuff underneath and then on top of the shelf and then I can also put like a bunch of can ooh like a bunch of candles up there in a dream world I would have never painted any walls in my house like this gray color but it just felt like a clean slate from what it was before so I just was like yeah I'll paint everything gray but I wish I would have painted my master bedroom like a cute color my office is green I love and I really wish I would have painted the living room like all black like the basement or like green because imagine this wall green or like some just really cool like dark academia vibe color but i think if i add all this dark decor it'll still give off that cozy dark vibes and then i love my fireplace obviously i really need to upgrade my rugs because none of them are the right size for like my house and my furniture so once i finally spend the money to update the rugs and i get all this hung up i think I'll finally feel like finished and cozy in the living room. But right now it feels just like apartment vibes because I have all my stuff from my apartment in here. Whether it looks good or not is over
relevant because it's giving apartment vibes for me, you know? Time to make my house into a home. But I just ordered some food because Abram ate my leftovers. He stayed up till 6 a.m. playing games. And I was so looking forward to that today. But he ate it. So I ordered my favorite food on Grubhub because if he can see my leftovers, then I get to get whatever food I want. Justifying it, okay? Plans are changing, but my food just got here. And I have a Facebook Marketplace deal. I'm going to pick up some, like, scones for candles. Is that what they're called? Wall scones? Oh my god, a breath. I just walked up the stairs. I was looking everywhere for an envelope. Found one because I got to go pay my HOA dues. What was I saying? Oh, Abram's going to come with me because now he's hungry. And so I'm going to eat right now. Then we're going to go pick up the scones, get him food. Then I have the rest of the day to do whatever. Well, I started the wall, but now I got to go to meet someone for the Facebook Marketplace deal. Show you guys what I got. All right, we are back. Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. I'm gonna show you what I got. Are you kidding me? Oh, upside down. These are so cute. Put some candles on them, hang them on the wall. I want like a hundred of these. Like, imagine one just next to like everything. Instead of lights, we just have candles. I love it. Living in the 1800s, I'm there. It's time to paint the shelf, so I need to put on an outfit that I can get paint on just in case I paint myself. But I've ripped these jeans three different times this weekend, and I just did a handstand because I was excited about something and ripped them again. So now they're almost all the way up. They're past the pocket and almost touching the other hole. So I'm like, should they just be painting jeans? Okay, here's some clothes. I don't mind if they get paint on. I really want to finish my book though, but I also want to get stuff done. And as much as I, like, I don't know, in my head, I didn't read it if I listened to it. But I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook for a couple of chapters while I get some stuff done. Because I really want to know what happens, but I have stuff to do. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to listen to the audiobook because it's still, I'm still reading the book. I'm still getting the story, right? Why are you holding him like he's a machine because gun? Because he's like hazardous material to hold him. <laughs> yeah, sure, you gotta hold him like this. Yeah, yeah, go for this it. This is how he likes to be Yeah, I'm sure. Baby kitty or the classic. He's all mad now, but... Yeah, no, that's what he likes. Baby kitty. What is this stupid smite video in the background going on? Now that the shelf is down, <sighs> do you, if I were to take those down, do you like it better? blank and I just put up a bunch of decor and you like the shelf. I think it'd be cool if like you put the board but it's slanted so that the spirits and ghosts can't sit on there and they'll just light off. Okay, there's no witchcraft going on in this hat. I don't know what you're thinking. What do you think? Griffin, shelf or no shelf? He's just vibing, he's so funny. What if instead of decor we just put a bunch of cat stuff for them to climb up? We just put him. Just he is the decor. You put him on one of those bars and he just like hangs. Did she run away? Okay, I took a break while the stuff was drying and I got to page 522, I think. I just texted Charlie, let me check. Okay, this is like a little bit of a spoiler. So if you are reading the books or planning on reading them, just skip the next like 30 seconds. Nesta and Gwen's friendship. Are you kidding me? I literally almost just cried. Like they're, she needed some girlfriends and I love it. And I don't get the Nesta hate even after this book. I haven't finished it yet though. So who knows? But people still hate Nesta even after reading this book. And like, yes, I hate what she did before but like the character growth is just mm, it's beautiful i love it okay back to working on my projects well that was still wet
tell y'all, I could not figure out the way that this shelf was supposed to go. There were already holes in it from when I had it screwed in earlier, so I was trying to find where the original holes were, but then there were also just holes in the wood because it's wood, and I was so confused. And then the crazy part in A Court of Silver Flames happened, and like everyone's like, oh, I totally expected it. I did not expect it, okay? This is no spoilers right here, but I was freaking out, so I had to take a little break and just read it. I wasn't even listening to the audiobook anymore because I had to just be there and read it. And I was like on the verge of crying. I was so excited. Then I finally got this shelf figured out. Okay, I finally finished the wall and I am obsessed. Like it might not seem like a crazy difference, especially for how long it took me to do it, but the vibes are immaculate. So I'm just sitting on the couch and this is what I look up at while I'm reading and it's just beautiful. And I have my fire going, I'll put music on the TV. I love it. I'm obsessed with these little candle things. I feel like that really drew in everything. That one's a little close to the picture, but I went over there and there's like a good amount of distance between the two, but I'll just keep an eye on it while that one's lit. And now I want a lot more candle holder things in my house because that's a vibe. Like imagine like some giant ones next to the fireplace. I love that. But since I was listening to the audiobook while doing all of this, I'm on page 687, which means I have a little over 100 pages left. And if y'all know Sarah J Mass, you know the last 100 pages goes crazy. In this case, I'd say the last 200 because the amount of stuff that happened, I mean, you were kind of getting my reaction while I was doing the wall and I was just like in shock and crazy things just keep happening and yeah so I'm going to stop the audiobook and actually read the last hundred pages because it just hits different when you're actually reading it but oh, okay I'm so excited Why does Sarah J. Mass do this at the end of her books? <laughs> oh my gosh, I look bald. I forgot these candles have been going this whole time, so now they're almost out, but I can't get this one to blow out. That one might have been a little lower. <laughs> I'm really struggling. <laughs> there we go. They're just little nubs. log for brunch right now and he's actually in front of us at this stoplight and he got out ran over said happy birthday to abram and gave him some crackers okay little snack we came back from brunch took a nap and just woke up but i got these bows that just came in today so cute i'm now bow girly <laughs> yay you have to pretend boy. to blow out candles <laughs> Well, good morning. It is Monday morning now. The weekend is over. So that means this vlog is probably gonna be over. It's also like raining this morning, but it's so cold out that it's turning the roads all slick. So don't know if I can even leave my house today. Last night we finished Abram's birthday by Logan just coming over and we watched the Chiefs game. Super chill. Abram said it was perfect for his birthday, just low-key chill. And I forgot to vlog going to 
family dinner basically and all that stuff. So I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.